Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. NBA 2K16 is literally six months away, and I know that I'm a little late with this wishlist series, but hey man, I got a lot to talk about. We got some things that need to be going over, and I don't want to waste your time, so let's hop right into this video. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is names. We should be able to create our own nicknames, and for our last names, we should at least have the commentator try to pronounce our name. Now this is what I mean by that. When you go into the triangle box and you create a name, the commentator will actually say the last name. Like he can say Carter, but if I type in iPod King Carter, he doesn't even give it a chance. He doesn't even try to pronounce it. Now believe me, if Siri can say iPod King Carter, it's no reason that a game shouldn't be able to have some type of speech di like dictionary to try it out. You know, even if they have to break up the, the last name by word, at least try it out it shouldn't be hard now uh, the next thing let's talk about the faces now they should give us more templates of all ethnicities such as you know Indian more Asian Japanese Korean uh, French you know like all different kinds of ethnicities man it shouldn't just be broken down to about 30 templates of all the same faces just looking different like you know one player will be dark skin but it'll be the same player as a Caucasian person down the line with wavy hair. That doesn't make any sense to me. I think that we need to have more templates of more ethnicity. So we need to have more, I guess, bring in some models, man. If you have to bring in some face models or whatever, you know, people with nice headshots and get some more ethnicity out there, man. Real rat. Now let's talk about hair. Now for hair, I want to see you guys give us every hairstyle in the archive. That means every player in the NBA, I mean every single one. We talking all the way back to Jerry West and them. I'm talking every single player in the NBA from old to new. Give us all of their hairstyles to choose from. Or how about you give us a template such as waves or a block or something like that and give us the designs that some NBA players have. Like how, um, what was that? Uh, what you would call it, husband? We played for the Cavaliers. Was it Boogie or something like that? No, I can't remember his name, man. Um, oh, Gibson. Gibson used to have crazy hairstyles in his head, and you know we would. I would love that template. I would love to get that template, put it on some waves, or try it on a block or something like that, or try it on like a little mini fro. You know, cut out something. Just give us something, man. We need more hairstyles, man. I know I'm bald in real life, but you know when I create other players, I don't want to just create a bald guy. I want I want some tastefulness, man. You know. Now let's talk about facial hair. We need more options. And this is why I say that everyone is different. So we need more combinations such as with my beard, right? If I cut off my sideburns, I would have a goatee. If I cut off my goatee, I would only have my mustache. So that should mean it should be a combination of all three. So mustache one plus goatee one plus sideburns one should all combine to make beard one. That's, that's what it should come down to. You should be able to mix and match. For instance, say someone has a mustache that doesn't fully connect to their goatee, but their sideburns comes down to, the, to their chin hair. So they will have a mustache two with a goatee three and would have sideburns two to connect to a mustache two. It, make, it makes total sense. You guys need to let us have more mustache, more goatees, and more sideburns to make actual combinations or mix and match because a lot of people are different in real life. Now, uh, as for the eyes, the eyes are fine. You know, there there can't be that many flavors of eyes out there. Come on now. What, what we got, honeysuckle or something like that? What, what type of eye you got? I mean, it would be nice if people could put in contacts, but hey. If you could change your eyes from the rip, what does it even matter? Now, let's talk about sculpting. We need to have 360 degrees from side to side and top to bottom while you're spinning your player around. You should be able to see the bottom of this person's neck <laughs> and the back of their throat. Like, you need to be able to see all of that. You know what I'm saying? When you're sculpting your player. You know what I'm saying? Because I got that big knot in the back of my head, man. I need to be able to see all. I need to see how it go down, how the, how the slope go. You know what, let me stop, let me stop. 
Let's talk about facial scans. Now, you need to give us the proper setup details instead of letting us know we need natural light. If we have to have studio lighting or anything like that, let us know. Now, for this little green box that is supposed to pick up our face, we need it to be able to pick up our eyes, mouth, chin, nose, and forehead, and not just try to make our face fit on one template that you guys built up for the game. We need to be able to, like, if we close our eyes for a second, like, if we blink, it should not say you cannot locate face and then make our lips go on our nose like it should be able to dictate where our face is at any given moment it shouldn't just stop in the middle of everything now let's talk about body scans for a second now for body scans i would love to see body scans but i know that that's nowhere near in the near future for my career but if we could scan bodies i would love to do that for personal reasons such as tattoos and body scars i don't want to see people out here doing body scans of 400 pound men and stuff like that just to make fun of people i don't want to see that i want to see people actually give this a chance with body scans to actually put their real life tattoos in the game their real life scars you know like i know a lot of people that got like scars on their arms or you know me i got a bunch of tattoos i would love to have those in the game you know that would be dope now uh let's talk about tattoos since we're on that subject we need the entire nba catalog i know that there are many nba players that have individual tattoos that are universal but for the people that have tattoos that are very personal or they got done custom they don't have to write off a consent for those tattoos just give us the universal tattoos that they have like for instance good versus evil or a demon and an angel like give us tattoos that a lot of people have because they walked into a tattoo parlor and said give me that on that book or that on that wall poster please because i know that it's universal tattoos out there now moving on let's talk about this clothing store we need more brand stores such as nike adidas etc under armor if you have the sneakers you need to have all the clothing such as what if we want to wear an under armor dry fit with some running shorts and some nike flex running shoes during our cutscenes? we should be able to have that option not just throw on the 2k store and throw on some uh basketball sneakers every day nobody wants to wear bi basketball sneakers. i want to wear some nike flip-flops yo <laughs> like i'm just saying like give us more of what we really do in real life like come on now let's talk about shoes since we're on that subject why don't we get every basketball shoe ever created by these brands such as adidas nike jordan i know jordan has all of his shoes you know that's that's dope and all but how about everything from every brand wouldn't that be dope if you can choose from every single shoe ever created talk about the edit game talk about the creation game shoe game on fleek you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Now, the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about in this video, yes, this is part one of part three. Let's talk about the voices. How about 10 voice actors, right? So you can have a pool of ethnicity to dive into, such as an Indian voice, African voice, French voice, you know, Asian voice, Korean voice. How about you guys get some real voice actors in there to make this game better? Come on, let's do it. But check it out, man. This is your boy IKC signing out. This is part one of three. If you enjoyed the video, like the video and leave a comment in the comment section. And do not forget to share this video and subscribe if you're new. This is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.